everyone. This is Neha from Edureka and this session is all about Gecko driver. Let's have a look at the agenda for the session. First, I will tell you what is Gecko driver and why do you need it? Next, I will tell you how to set it up on your system. After that, let's run a small Selenium script to understand the importance of Gecko driver. And finally, I will wrap up the session by telling you some of its advantages. I hope you found agenda interesting. Without wasting any further time, let's get straight into the module. First, I will tell you what is Gecko driver. Gecko is a web browser engine used in many applications developed by Mozilla Foundation and the Mozilla Corporation. And Gecko driver is the link between your test in Selenium and the Firefox browser. It is considered as a proxy for using WC3 web driver compatible clients to interact with Gecko based system browsers in order to instantiate the object of Gecko driver. You can simply create the object with the help of this command. That is, you will create a new Firefox driver because this is mainly used for Mozilla Firefox browser. And that is the reason we are creating a new object of Mozilla Firefox. Simple. Having understood this, now let's move further and see why do we need Gecko driver. For Mozilla Firefox till version 47, we never needed Gecko driver. But the Mozilla Firefox after version 47 comes with a marionette, which is an automation driver for Mozilla's. It can remotely control either the UI or the internal JavaScript of a Gecko platform such as Firefox. So we require Gecko driver for Firefox. If we do not use it, it will not be able to instantiate the object of Gecko driver and launch Firefox. And that's the reason why we need Gecko driver. Now let's move further and see how to set it up on your system. First, you need to go to the official website and download the latest version of the Gecko driver that supports Mozilla Firefox version. Next, extract and install it in a specified file location and finally set the properties of the Gecko driver by providing the path for it. Simple. Now let's see how to do it. First, go to Selenium official website. I hope you have already installed Selenium on your system. If not, you don't have to worry. You can check out the video on Selenium installation in the playlist. So now let's see where we need to download it. So I'll click on the downloads. I'll just scroll down and I can see that there's a Mozilla Gecko driver under third party browsers. OK, so I'll just click on this. I'm going to download the Gecko driver from here. That is I will choose clone or download from the GitHub and I will download the zip file. So as we download the zip file, we need to extract it and save it. So I have already downloaded and saved the Gecko driver in this particular file location. So I will be using this path throughout my Selenium script if I want to instantiate the object and launch Firefox. OK. Now let's move further and run the Selenium script and see how Gecko driver is useful in launching Mozilla Firefox and execute the test cases. So. I have written a small Selenium script for that. So first what I did, I entered system.set property and inside that I gave web driver dot gecko driver because this is my web driver and this is the path to the file location where I have saved the gecko driver. And after that I have to create an object of Firefox driver because gecko is the one which is mainly used for launching Firefox and that is the reason I'm just creating an object of Firefox driver. And after that using the reference of the same object, I'm managing the window. That is I'm maximizing the window, deleting all the cookies, giving the timeouts for page timeout load and implicitly wait. Next what I did using driver.get, I want to navigate through twitter.com website. That is this one. OK, so I basically want to navigate to twitter.com and perform certain actions that have been specified in the code. So first thing I want to find the element by link text and hit the sign up button and click it. That will be this one. I want to hit this next what I want to do. I want to enter the credentials for name and phone number that is I want to enter the credentials for this and as well as this and after that I want to hit the next button. So that's how I am locating it with the help of an XPath locator as well as name locator I'm sending the keys for the name credentials as edureka and I'm sending the keys in the place of phone number text box as this. 
So if you wish to know more about XPath and locators in Selenium, you can check out the videos in our YouTube playlist and you can master those concepts as well. After that, I want to hit the next button and that is the reason why I am again using the XPath for that. I'm using click for the buttons or the links because I cannot enter any values in that. But in case of text box, I can enter the values and that is the reason I'm using send keys. Okay, so now let's run the program and check the output. So you can see the program started executing and our gecko driver launched Mozilla Firefox. It navigated through twitter.com, hit the sign up, entered all the values. And as I have not provided the valid phone number, it's telling me invalid phone number. So what I'll do, I'll just go back and change the script. I'll just give some random numbers like, okay. Once again, let's run the program and check for the output. So you can see the program started executing. Gecko driver launched Mozilla Firefox, navigated to twitter.com, hit the sign in button, entered all the credentials, and also hit the next button. Yes, so it's asking for the next step. Yes, yeah, so this is how Gecko driver will help you in launching Firefox, navigating through a particular website, and then performing all the actions that is, you're lo locating the elements, performing some actions on the element locators, and that's all. I hope you understood how to run a Selenium script with the help of a Gecko driver. Now let's see one more example of that. So in this program, I want to know whether the actual title matches with the expected title or not. So what I'm doing here, I'm again creating an object of a Firefox driver and setting the system properties of a Gecko driver by specifying the path of the file location. After all these, I'm again using the reference of the driver and maximizing the window, deleting all the cookies and providing some implicitly wait for that as well. And I am taking the base URL as edureka.co website. And the expected title will be instructor led online training with 24 7 lifetime support. Okay, I'll just show you one thing here. So this is the title that is instructor led online training with 24 7 lifetime support, followed by edureka. So I'll give the same thing that is there. And after that, I'm giving it as a blank because I want to get the actual title and using driver.get I'm getting the base URL that will be this one and after that I'm trying to get the actual value of the title that is actual title is equal to driver.get title and now I want to compare the actual title of the page with the expected one and print the result as pass or fail. So if the actual title equals to expected title then it will print as test passed else the test will be failed. Now let's run and check the output. So again, Gecko driver launched Mozilla Firefox, navigated through edureka.co, and now let's see what happened. The test is failed. Why? Because the actual title and the expected title doesn't match. Yes, it does not. So there was just a matter of the space. Even if the space is wrong, it will say the actual title and the expected title doesn't match. And that's the reason I again executed the program by giving a small space. And now you can see it said test was passed. Yes. So this is how you can run your small Selenium script and make use of the drivers. If you wish to know about the Chrome driver, you can check out the video in the YouTube playlist. So this is how you need to instantiate the object of a Firefox driver and set the system properties of the Gecko driver. Now let's move further and see some of the advantages of Gecko driver. So the basic thing is it helps in launching Firefox browser. It communicates with Gecko based browser and it provides HTTP API as well. And that's the reason why Gecko driver is preferred in case of Mozilla Firefox. So that was all about the session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment section below and we will reply back to you at the earliest. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!